a driverless car. We're going to be at the driverless car faster than you imagine. The only thing that's going to hold back the driverless car is regulation and the failure of regulators to act quick enough. But it's going to be proven so clearly that the driverless car is safer and better than a driver car. So what do you have in a driverless car? You have a black box that tells you where you are. You have a GPS system that has to connect to satellites. The car itself is checking into its manufacturer to let it know it exists. The driver is probably going to have one or more social devices, which are also going to be GPS enabled and connected to a Wi-Fi device or to a wireless network. You're going to have your music being delivered by Spotify, iTunes, or some form of digital audio broadcast. The car is going to be checking in two or 300 different components from tire pressure to engine temperature to oil level and communicating all of this information back. I've listed three or 400 different applications in a driverless car, none of which are owned by one person. And all of them are connected by different ways, satellite to GPS, Wi-Fi, broadband, who knows, maybe even radio links when you're in city. All of this data and all of these applications are owned by hundreds of different players and they all have to come together to make the wireless car work. 